Hey guys, today I am going to talk about one bad product away from going out of business. So if you bought Hello Kitty and you thought it was going to the moon, and you bought it from a distributor at $70, um, that is the distributor price, and you are a local game store, and you decided to buy 5,000 cases of this, you got employees, you got overhead, you got rent, you got electricity, you got water... You got uh, bills galore, and then uh, the product goes from 140, right? This is the price they're telling you to sell it at. You're being undercut by other partners selling it at 120 with their promo card. You're being undercut by Alpha Investment at 100, I believe he was selling these boxes, or as a crown eater promo, right? And yeah, you are one product away from just going belly up. And the, the product was called Hello Kitty MetaZoo. Now, we love Hello Kitty at my house. Uh, my girlfriend loves Hello Kitty. So you got pajamas and shorts and stuffed plush. And the one thing we do not have is cards. We actually do have like um, Hello Kitty like toys and like actual hard toys like, you know, the figures. But we don't have any cards, and the reason being is the main demographic of Hello Kitty is interested in something cute. You know, maybe a handbag. Maybe we actually went to Lunchbox today, and there was a lot of Cinnamon Row, a lot of Hello Kitty, but there was no MetaZoo cards. Uh, I don't even know if my mall has a Claire's. Uh, we did go to uh, what was a Hot Topic or Spencer. We hit both of those up, and we didn't see any Hello Kitty MetaZoo cards. Out of curiosity, we did see a lot of Disney Locana. I can tell you Locana is blowing the blank. It's behind the counter, of course, right? But um, we even went to Best Buy, and there was a lot of Disney Locana in Best Buy. So uh, very readily available. We went to Target. Plenty of Disney Locana in Target. Now, the one thing we did not see is MetaZoo. And I think it is, you know, coming now. We went to the mall, like, all New Year's shopping, shop for clothing, shop for penguins and panda plush right panda costumes shiba unus and shiba inu plus uh and we know there's no meta zoo you know i actively was looking for these hello kitty card meta zoo cards and i couldn't find them uh, online you can see the price point is just collapsing basically overnight and what it comes down to is a very very simple fact is that this is a card game that was overhyped oversold and just not not what it claimed to be even the delivery date for halloween i, I tell you the story i was going to go to tcg con see them maybe you know talk to them a little bit i'm sure i would be less critical of them if i understood their business you know sit them down and you know talk to them um and they actually had hit me up their youtube channel hit my channel up to do like to give us some free stuff. we still obviously didn't receive any free stuff I'm not really into receiving free stuff. I can pay for my own stuff, right? And um, yeah, I mean, we were excited. I was going to spend money to buy these $100, $120 boxes at the, uh, what was it? The Collecticon Houston. I live in Houston. It's an easy drive. We were going to take her nephew there. Um, instead, we decided to just skip out because there was no Hello Kitty release. We thought it would be fun, you know, there would be decorations or something like that, but no, <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing but disappointment. And people will be like, why do you hate this uh, Meta Zoo so much? I don't hate it. I just tell you what it is. It's disappointing, right? At this point, you, so their YouTube channel hits my YouTube channel up, says they want to send something free. Nothing comes. Okay, fine. I, I take it. We're going to TCG Con to go ahead to um, visit their booth, right? Take the time, take the money. Again, tickets I paid, car parking I paid. I, they, I'm, I don't want them to pay a dime. I'm not expecting them to give me anything. I'm not expecting them to pay a dime. I'm just going to go visit them. It'll be fun. My girlfriend will take some pictures with the Karamis and so on. She loves Karami and Salem and Row. And it'll be a fun event. They didn't do that. So it turned out the Hello Kitty Halloween event was released sometime for Christmas. <laughs> you know and they hype you up and they're like oh man we're going to deliver it for chris even rudy's video says it's going to be delivered for christmas they even told rudy it will be delivered they're, i mean come on come on like you know you, you you really have to like look at this from the perspective of me 
you know, I want my girlfriend to get involved in cards and be excited, and she was really super excited about this set. <laughs> it doesn't release, man. Like this is disappointing, and and then now you hear that there's kit streamer kits, and and they have free months where they're trying to back order and backlog. I I cannot imagine. I, I just cannot imagine um, native home run success with 12k views. Nightfall is a pyramid scheme, right? All those Nightfall boxes sold for $500 a box, by the way. Or what was it? $800, some weird number, $999 for a box, I think. And then he gave you some other junk with it. Look, man, I, I mean, this is this is just terrible. You know, like, look, I, I could I could have been preaching Meadows you. I was really positive about it. I was really positive about it. The girlfriend was on board. We're going to open a few boxes. We're going to buy a few boxes. We're going to go TCG Con with her nephew, right? The nephew was excited to go to TCG Con, right? Um, we're going to spend the day out there and then just play some Meta Zoo, open some packs, have a good time. And lo and behold, the MFers didn't even release it for the Christmas. It's like, it's like, what is going on with this company? Like, I, I really feel, and, and this is not even them taking my money. This is just me being excited for something. That obviously was not delivered. Now I can only imagine how these streamer kits. The people who ordered these streamer kits feel. Where it's so delayed that like they don't even care anymore. I can only imagine the pre-ordering. and the. I mean. A lot of this has to do with. Their business model. Their business model. Do, do not promise. Under promise over deliver. That's the first thing I learned in marketing. That's the first thing you learn in marketing. You want your audience to be surprised. Don't tell me about no RB collab that never happens. Don't talk about this set coming out or Legends or Legacy or whatever. Like Nick, Nick and uh, Strength Pokemon, he seems like really disappointed. He seems like he's like the biggest Meta Zoo fan, and he's like constantly disappointed about this Legacy thing. And then he just wiped Legacy off the announcement list. Hey, man! Like, I mean, it, it's a very simple business model they have to follow. If you say the Hello Kitty is coming out for Halloween, you best make sure it comes out for Halloween or else don't say it. Don't have Rudy Chan say Don't have that person say Don't have anyone say it. Just say, hey, this is coming out for Christmas. If, that, if that's coming around Christmas, it's coming around Christmas. Then you know, we wouldn't schedule our weekend around TCG Con. We actually had to not go to TCG Con in Houston. Not TCG Con. That's the one we're going to in February. Um, the Collector Con. We actually did not go to Collecticon in Houston. Instead, we just visited all the local game stores that did Yu-Gi-Oh! And that's really disappointing, man. Um, it could have been great. I could have been promoting. I could have been the biggest MetaZoo fan. I could be the one that replaced Alpha Investments pumping this shit. But instead, we just got into Squishmallows. And that's when she got into Squishmallows. And we, we hunt Squishmallows every weekend now. That could have been MetaZoo money. But they didn't want my money. They didn't want uh, to deliver what they promised they would deliver. And now I'm going to crunch down on them for the next two and a half years. 